welcome back to Copperhead Customs and today we are finally back on this our 1948 Bedford $2,000 Hot Wheels Legends Tour built. So stick around to see what we get up to today. So yes, as stated, this is our $2,000 budget, 1948 Bedford build that we are intending on putting into next year's Hot Wheels Legends Tour once it's finished. And a quick recap, if you're new, this Bedford started off life out in the paddock in the middle of New South Wales, Australia, and we picked it up. It was a dirty old delinquent little cab full of bullet holes from the farmer's kids. We picked it up for $300 mind you, and, and since then we've given it a six inch haircut, we've done multiple things, we've put it on a Holden one ton chassis, but, but we've chopped two foot out of the centre of that chassis, eight inches off the front, and eight inches off the back, and the whole reason for doing that was to make it look a little bit more like a Hot Wheels toy car, short, stubby, and stout, hence its name, Stubby Ben, but, it has turned out looking magnificent and in total proportion, as you can see. Now, the tray here we made out of an old pallet that we got from the hardware shop. We've got truck mud guards, big fat stock tyres. And on the inside, we've got office chairs for seats, an old bamboo fence back there, heaps of old memorabilia. We've got these miniature truck mirrors to match the rear truck guards. We bought the cheapest tail lights we could get. And guess where they come from? They come from... China. It's running a 202 cubic inch Holden six cylinder motor and a four speed gearbox. That's an old hard hat. These headlights, they're made from dog dishes. So, as you can see, in the short time we were working on the little Bedford, it came a long, long way in those couple of months. But we had a break from it because we had to do some other work on other cars and we just couldn't get back onto it. But, but now finally, and I know a lot of you will be happy, we are back on it. But, but the problem is that we have turned woke. What are you talking about? Hi there, welcome to Leopard's Coffee. I'm your servant, Leo. How can I help you today, sir? Yes, can I get a soy latte with organic beans and bottled water and extra vanilla drizzle for my gandanalikli pasteurized in my own cup, please. And do you have somewhere where I can plug in my EV? I drove around the block and the batteries are quite flat. Yes, sir, a soy latte. Oh my goodness, we only use bottled water here. And don't worry about that. Everything is homogenically and pasteurized and oh my God, and it's in a leopard car and that will be $27 for the coffee and 185 to plug in your EV around the corner. Thank you. We only accept cards because we are all for cashless society. If you take a seat, I'll be with you in about three hours. Thank you. Oh, $27. That's quite a bargain. By the way, you have a lovely man bun. Thank you. Oh yes, I have a man bun as well. I think yours is nicer though. So what I'm talking about is to do in here. We are running a petrol motor and we've decided to put in an EV, a battery powered motor. That's right. That's right. We're going to have a battery powered rat rod. You can't be serious, mate. Well, if you think I'm serious, I somewhat am. What we are planning on doing today is, firstly, we need to give it a bit of a wash and get the three months of dirt and dust that it's on it off. So we start with a nice clean surface. But then, but then we're going to turn the motor into a battery. What? Don't turn off the channel yet. We are not putting an EV in our rat rod, but what we are going to do to keep up with all the wokeness that's going around Lately, we're going to take our tappet cover, rocker cover off, and we're going to paint it up 
like a Duracell battery. So yes, no, we haven't turned woke here, but what we're gonna do, like I said, is we're gonna remove the tappet cover, rocker cover off. We're gonna prep it all for paint because it has been done pretty ratty. So we're gonna sand it all, put it in primer, etc. Then the plan will be that we will paint basically two thirds, approximately, we'll get some more accurate measurements. We'll have to go off some photos to sort of work out how they do them, but approximately two thirds of the of, from here back basically will be black and this front section we will paint in a rose gold we will also on the very front do a little silver circly bit with a bit of probably airbrush shadowing to make that look like the positive terminal would be we then that will all be done in base coat what we'll then do is we've got a sticker made in black a plus sign for the positive which will go up the front on each side and in white we have Duracell written. Now, hopefully in America you do have Duracell batteries. If not, we'll show you what one looks like. We will have put the Duracell battery on. Then what we'll do is we'll start dusting some clear on lightly over the top of the vinyl stickers to get them to be able to take it. So we'll just do some real light little coats of clear. Then we'll throw some serious clear over the top, make it pop, put it back on, and our rocker cover will look like a battery. So, I don't know if that's all we'll do, or we'll do something else. You'll have to wait and see. But if it sounds of interest, seeing us turn our rat rod into an EV, maybe you should stick around. One last thing is, we have 99% of the parts in to finish this build. So we will be motoring on with this one, doing more and more videos of it, and trying to knock it out. And in between, we'll be starting our new build. So stick around to see what that one is. It's gonna be my daily shop truck that I'm gonna drive every day, and I am so excited to start it. So there's always something going on, so keep watching. So first things first, I think we'll just get a bucket of water and a sponge and then a cloth, and we'll give it a quick wipe down to get all the dirt off. I don't really wanna hose it and stuff at this stage, cause like I said, we do have bullet holes and the car is not finished yet. I think we'll just give it a wipe down with some water and maybe give it a, a dry to get rid of any leftover residue. Then we'll quickly unbolt the eight or so 10 mil bolts that hold on the tappet cover. And then we'll take it inside and start prepping for paint. Yeah, some of you may find this quite interesting. There'll be a little bit involved. Uh, we'll have to mix some different paints up to make some, do some color matching. Uh, obviously some painting, putting some stickers on, uh, getting them clear, all of that sort of cool stuff, bit of body work on the rocker cover, etc. And uh, let's see if we can make it look pretty cool. Bit of airbrushing as well thrown in there, I'd say. So like I said, some of you might find this 
quite interesting. At the end of the day, it's just it's our old budget build ready. And the more of these little fine details that we can put into this, the better. One, like, it's not going to cost us anything to do this. Uh, like, nothing at all. And um, the more of the little things we can do like this that are free, like, that aren't going to make it look stupid and cheap and toyish. You know, we don't want to have, like, crazy doll heads or something hanging off of it. But just little little things like this will just, you know, this is the sort of thing that, 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 that just takes the car to the next level, you know, like like engraving the snake head into the wood, etc. So this is just something, it's a little bit of a, um, like, like a bit of a play on words, I suppose, that, you know, turning the motor into looking like a battery, you know, it's just a little bit of a joke to the fingers up a bit to the EV group you know like we've got our rusty old gas guzzling rat rod and oh it's run by a battery you know so that's all it is we'll do more of this sort of stuff on this build just cool little tweaky little things that are free and um if you just didn't know we're probably going to build that motorbike over there as a cafe racer that's going to be mounted on the back of it as well now we've got lots and lots and lots of cool little things happening you may see a little sneak over my shoulder oh i'm not going to show you too much but there's lots of other these little cool bits happening that have not cost a lot of money so with all that said i'll shut up and stop talking and we will get that rocker cover off and let's get this job happening <laughs> As you see we just got that back to bare metal so we first uh, just cleaned the inside as much as we could got the old shitty gasket off and got rid of any gunk in there just using some brake cleaner and a toothbrush then we've used some 60 or 80 grit on the orbital get as much down as we can we've done a little bit by hand and we had to three or four tabs on here which like hold hoses or wires which i thought i'd delete so we ground them down and we just did a couple of little a little dolly just knocked a dent out i just seen one here i don't know if i'll bother with it i uh, can't get to it anyway so yeah, there's just a couple of little dings in it that i neatened up and we've run out of wax and grease grease remover so i just used a bit of brake clean to wipe it down hopefully that will be all right so it's not perfect you know we didn't take it all the way back we've taken it back a fair way so i think we'll throw some undercoat on that now and we'll see what it turns out like. I'm not going to be like ridiculously fussy as long as it's, you know, it's, it's an engine, it's going to be filthy as long as it looks okay. And somewhere here in this mess, I brought a battery down. So this is what we are aiming for. Okay, so we've got the stick, I'll bring the sticker down. Now we've got the plus side symbol like that and we've got the Duracell. So we've got to mix up this rosy gold type color. So I think now we'll paint the whole thing and we'll work out. That's basically a third of it, I reckon. So this is the front, of course. So this will be our gold section. And it will be somewhere here, I'd say. The gold will finish and the black will go. So the Duracell is going to go in and out on them. It's going to be a bit of a pest. There's not much we can do about that. That is sort of hidden behind. We could put it on the top and on the side. But this side here will be nice. 
this side here will be a bit of a pest because it's going to have to go in out in out in out but so be it so we've got the duracell about 400 so should work pretty good then what we want to do is that and we want to try to replicate up here so we'll we'll get something we need like two circles and we'll paint them in like a silver or a chrome i'll do have some chrome paint maybe we'll put some chrome paint on there and a little bit of airbrushing to to shadow it i reckon it should look pretty trick so that's the plan is to replicate that so i'm going to get a drink and have some lunch and we'll come back down a bit later on oakley doakley we have to mix up some primer so what we have got is we've got some uh two 2k primer that's pretty good stuff this it's in a beigey color but you know, color whatever doesn't matter now they're very thick so make sure you give your primers a good a good stir yeah so any rate we don't need a real lot but what we'll do is we will pull that out so we're just going to a little stir throw that in a mix cup now it's four to one ratio so this is mixed with hardener so if we look on the side here we've got our four we're just going to take it up hopefully you can see Ooh, about there see what that does you touch more i think about that much of that so if you've seen what we did there on the side here so this is our four to one column down here we've got a one so that's what our put our first bit to then we add hardener to the next little one mark which is not a real lot it's pretty hard with the low amounts normally you'd probably mix this in a smaller cup with a small amount then you just add a little bit of thinners, 2K. We've got our two-pack thinners here. So this is just stuff that we've pulled out of the, because uh, we used the primer the other day. So just out of the cleaning. You put about 10% in, about that much will do, just to thin it down a bit and give that a good mix. And then we'll put that in this gun. So this is our primer gun. So it has a big needle. Uh, so it's like a two, I think it's a two or a 2.4. See if it says it on it. Does it say on there what it is? 2.5. There you go. Can you see that there? 2.5. So yeah, we've got a big, big opening basically. So uh, when we spray our base coats out of these guns, they are a 1.4 needle we run. 1.4 millimeters. Yes. So yeah, we run a 2.5 for our primer. We just use a a suction feed and it all seems to come out pretty nice out of there now i'm about to do some metal flake on some stuff and so we'll do some tests with that of how if we can get that out of a 1.4 depend on the size of the metal flake i suppose or if we have to run it out of out of that or i do have some other guns with like two mil tips etc so yeah different size tips basically let more paint come out so but if you're painting with like a base coat and you have too big a needle it will come out all blotchy and not atomized correctly it will just splatter it a little bit on sort of that's how you sort of describe it so any rate we've got that mixed up we'll put that in our gun fire up the compressor and we'll start throwing some undercoat on that rocker cover then we'll have to we'll give that as many coats as we can and i just forgot what i think i will do is throw some super etch primer down quickly onto the bare metal so that actually attaches to the metal better than the regular primer then we'll put the regular primer over the top so while the compressor is building pressure, let's quickly throw some Super X primer over that bare metal. there's the super edge primer down and one coat of regular primer i'll try to get out of the shadow for you now it looks pretty good yeah but as you can see 
we could have gone actually perfect with it if we wanted i was humming and hurrying with these little spot weld marks we probably could have gone in and put a dab of filler maybe and like there's a little dent we could have you know we could have perhaps played with them a bit more to make it look perfect but you know it doesn't really suit the build if this was absolutely perfect and the other thing is i don't really know how well the the filler would hold up with the heat side of things i don't think this will get ridiculously hot but so yeah i didn't um i think it should still look all right so this is our front remember so this will be our gold section i've got a bit of damage in there if i can get out of it i don't know if that helps or not you can see a little dent in there and in this corner there's a little bit of damage that we dollied out a little bit but we didn't get too fussy on it i think that should look good so we'll give that another at least another coat of primer maybe two we'll see how we go then we'll give it a little tiny sand and we'll start shooting some paint on it okay we are back and we haven't got long but we've got we've got to go back out again but we've got time to quickly throw some base coat down so what i've also got to do is we've got to paint those little headlight covers for a chrysler so here's our chrysler brilliant black crystal metallic that's our chrysler color for the headlight covers so we'll probably just use this hey eh, for the rocker cover as well and we'll save us cleaning the gun 14,000 times so this is base coat so like i've said earlier we want to use basically a 1.4 tip in your gun we want to mix this pretty much like oh one to one paint to thinners one to one so no hardener or anything in this and yeah we mix this one to one and this will spray out once it's dried it will flatten off and be like a mattish looking color so there's our black it's got a little bit of it's probably hard to say but it's it's got quite a lot of pearl in it um and this was a perfect match for our black chrysler like we've got this on the money this mix so we'll just go here to our one to one now we're not going to need a lot we'll say we'll go to i think we'll put we'll put three in up to three that'll be heaps it's probably way too much probably way too much but with this with no hardener see it can always go back in for use later now i do want to repaint the bonnet of that chrysler later on but i'm going to do something quite tricky with it yeah so what i'll do now is because this stupid thinners now the new tins don't have a little plastic pourer thing coming out of them so it spills everywhere so i'll actually throw a little bit in this other cup now and then we'll put that in we'll see we'll see if we can do it one-handed eh? should we see if we can do it one-handed all right so we'll just throw a bit of that in here And we'll use the rest for cleanup. So that is a 2K thinner. Okay. So now we'll come back to our one to one. And we went to three. So we want to come up to three on there. So we've got way too much paint. We probably haven't quite got enough thinners in there, but it should be close enough. It's not an exact science with the with this really, as long as it's thin enough to spray. So I've just got to set my gun up and put the regulator and the filter on there and actually grab the tip out of here and put it on there and we'll throw that bit of thinners there'll be a bit of thinners in there we'll throw that in the dish and mix this up put it in there and i'll see yous outside and we'll paint it so like i said we mixed way 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 too much paint there we've got three quarters of a pot it's enough to do bonnet of a car and probably the roof nearly so yeah we got a bit excited there but uh we've just got to fire the compressor up See if we can get this to sit over here somewhere. What's the chances? Probably none. There we go. You can sit that there. If you're looking at me instead of watching what I'm doing. And this looks nice. So normally you would sand this down, but I'm not even going to bother because it looks really good. So I'm just going to shoot it. Remembering this is a engine part of a rat rod. So anyway, let's turn the compressor on and do some work. So, 
want to hear the good news or the bad news? Well, the good news is the job we're doing, our tappet cover is turned a treat. I don't know if you'll see the see any of the metallics pearls in it no so we'll let that set up now we'll move it out the way over over there because we've got to go out in case it may rain but as usual for those of you who follow the channel would know we had some issues with a car and a paint shop well these two parts here were from that painters paint and we didn't strip them all the way back we just sanded them thinking it would be all right we've uh, we've we've put our primer on i think it'd be all right and look what's happened Boom. so yeah we've just fried up like ridiculous business i it started doing it i threw it on a bit thicker to see if we would could avoid it but no so these two parts which are nothing to do with this video really are going to have to go and look at that look at that look at that there it's wet so this is what if you remember back to those videos I was saying is that they had never let their paint dry correctly and that's what's just happened is our paint the thinners in our paint has gone through into his crap stuff and <laughs> jellified it so they're gonna have to be stripped right back down to bare plastic and start it again. So we did save enough of the black paint to pull it off later, but that's gonna be not a quick little job that I was hoping to throw in on the side. That's going to be a bit of a process now. So um, I might just quickly, while it's wet, scrape that paint off, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for this. So this can dry up overnight. We've got to mix our gold, then mask this up, and we'll paint this side. Okay, we're back, same day. But we're back. So, this is our colour, our goldy colour that we're trying to, orangey goldy, rose goldy type colour that we're trying. Now, this is something I had last week that I used on our Suzuki Swift that we did. And it is not that far off. So if we just put a bit there. We put this here. Alright, so... I'm not quite sure what we need to do to it. I'm thinking we're gonna we've got some coarse metallic, which is like a silver. I think we'll put a bit of that in and see what happens. See if we can lighten it a little bit. Kind of need to go to a bigger cup, I think. I don't know if the if that's the right. I don't know if that's really the right additive. I've got, to, I've got to think about this. What do we need to do to it? It doesn't need to be any red. Eh? That's not quite taking us where we want to go. It needs to be a bit... Maybe we need to add some gold. Maybe we need to add gold to it, I think. A bit more gold, I reckon. Mm, you can see we're not far off. All right, let's go find some gold and see if we can find gold up here. What do we got? Maroon, red, blue, black, gold, bright gold. Oh, there's not much in there, if any. Don't know if that's really the cutter. Maroon, orange, green, binder, maroon. So these are all our base coats here and here. Red, uh, yellow may do it. Dark yellow, lime, copper. All right, we'll take, oh, we've got some more here. What have we got here? Fine metallic, coarse metallic. High sparkle, Diamond metal. So they're all like different seals. Ah, that was my head. They're all different silvers. The only other option is if we were to put a gold pearl in it. Sunbeam gold. We got sunbeam gold right there. Pearl. That might be. That might be the go. All right. We'll see if we got any in here. I don't know if this is gonna. I need two hands for this. Wait a minute. Okay. Hasn't been open for a while. Let's just see if we got any in here for a start because it was very low. 
and we'll put a bit in there if there is come on give me a little bit no i think she's I think she's empty. Last little bit's probably dried up. Okay, but we do have, I think we do have Sunbeam Gold. A one out here. I think this is Sunbeam Gold, isn't it? Sunbeam Gold. All right, so there's not a lot of this one left. There'll be enough. Okay, you need two hands sometimes to crack them open, especially when they haven't been used for a while. So let's just put a little bit of this in going to come out like a big lump we're getting low in this one too i think but we've got a full come on here it comes let's put a little bit of that in there so that's just gold pearl as you can see so let's just see what that does we'll mix that up oh that's us that's it, look at that, that's working. That was a pretty strong mix. That's taken us too far, as you can see. Well, you can't, you're not looking. So that's taken us a bit far. It's pretty close. Let's have a look at that. Ooh, where are you? Hey, that's us. All right, so, very close. We've got to add some of that Sunbeam Gold into this. And we'll get this bit in for a start. We've got way too much of this. So maybe we should go the other way. That would make more sense, wouldn't it, guys? So we don't need to use mix all of this up. Let's put a little bit of this into there. Then we'll add some Sunbeam Gold, get our colour. What do we want? Uh, a bit more. That much. That's heaps. Heaps. Let's whack some of our Sunbeam Gold, which is... Where is it? This one? No. This one over here. Normally these are all put away, guys, but they're out because some of these are for this build. And I've got a little mate over there in the land of two heads, who's actually building us this car in a miniature. And I actually got to send him over all the paints. So they've, I've left everything out so I can get all the correct mixes to send to him. So he can actually make our miniature little Hot Wheels version and make it look like spot on. So let's see how we go with this. Oh, we're gonna get it. It's gonna get it. I think. Scrape that off. There's a bit in there. Oh, it's coming. This is perfect because the actual color on the battery is a bit like a pearl. As well, I reckon. That's the color, guys. How good. So what this was is this was. I think it was red brown, red brown pearl. Yeah, I think it was just uh, straight up red, brown, pearl, this one. And I think it was some sunbeam gold. And then obviously we've put some silver in it and then a bit more gold. And that is pretty much on the money. Okay. Very close. You might just tweak that. I'll just tweak that a little bit more. It's a little bit dark. I've got to mix it up a bit better. So I'll add a bit more. I'll use two hands so I can mix it properly. We'll come back in a bit and I'll have it perfect. Oakley doakley. So we've got it close enough, eh? Because no one's ever going to have the battery next to it. Um, so there it is. It's not, it's, it, well, I can't quite get it exact. Um, but we're not bad. Uh, I had it, I put a lot more gold in. Then it seemed to be a little bit like, I think maybe the silver might have stuffed us. So I actually just added a little bit of red. Just near the end there and it started to sort of go you know i don't know we're close but we're just not quite there but like i've said as long as it's looking sort of close-ish to what we want and you know 
can't quite pick. Maybe it needs a bit of orange in it or something. Maybe it needs a touch of orange. Should we go get a touch of orange? I'm going to try to touch. Just touch of orange and see what it does. Hey, we'll have one more crack. We'll have one more little crack. Where have we got orange? Do we even have orange? That was a bit of a freak out. I just felt something on my foot. Orange. Organic orange. I don't know. I don't think this is the right one either. Not a bad colour, but I don't think this is what we want. Very thick. Here it comes. Put that little drop in. As you can see, we nearly, really need to turn this our mixing station on and give it a mix. We've got it close, and I don't want to lose it. Oh, that's actually that might have been it. I think that's as good as we're going to have it, I think. I think that's as good as we're going to do it. All right. So, enough stuff, and with that, it's close enough. What we've got to do is we've got to just go mask up half of that rocker cover. We'll do a measurement on this to work out how, if it's, if it's actually a third of it, and then we'll quickly measure that, put a masking line, bit of paper, and we'll start spraying it, yeah? Okay, so measured uh, pretty close to a third, okay? Now, our top of our tappet cover from there to there is 600 mil uh, two foot of the American what I did is I didn't quite do it at 200 mil because our Duracell sticker I actually got done at 400 mil which would have meant that we went basically edge to edge so I've done it uh, I've allowed an extra 20 or so mil of scab so I've done that at like 175 or something so 7 inches instead of 8 so that we've got a little bit of room for our Duracell sticker either side if that makes sense so we've masked that up just there and I think we'll paint the I think we'll paint that oil lid in the same color so it's in the gun you can hear the compressors going so at any rate let's set you up on the tripod we'll quickly spray this and we'll give it maybe two coats. And you know me, we will not be able to let it dry. We will unmask it. <laughs> I think we almost nailed that color, guys. All right, so there you go. What do you reckon? Hey, that looks wicked. I love it. I love it. I love it. So there's our battery, and there's our. Hey, like I said, it probably should. It should have gone one inch further to be perfect, but that's, that's going to look cool. And then here's our stickers. So that will go on there. Hey, that's going to be so cool. And then. We've got our little plus signs, and they'll just go on here. A little plus will go there. Just be careful not to touch it. A little plus will go on there. And like I said, on here, we just need to do something tomorrow, whether we use that chrome paint or whether I just use a bit of um, silver or something and a little bit of airbrush. Whether we do the whole thing with the airbrush or not, I'm not sure. Or we might just do a little... We'll see. We'll see what I come up with. Well, if, if I could find something like, you know, like that, whatever, that we could sort of stick on and then just paint the inside, then I could just airbrush from there. But regardless, my idea is working. That's going <laughs> to look so wicked. Anyway, I'm pretty happy. We've got our colour on the money and that's starting to look cool. I think it's going to work. See you in the morning. Because little fat boy here, have a look at the size of him. Hey, he's eating like a horse. Look at him. He needs a haircut and he's getting fat. I'm losing it. He's gaining it. See you in the morning.
Okay, right, that's what we did. Um, that's probably not quite right, but it's... We'll give the impression. So there's our other one. And there's ours. So we're not quite there, but... As good as we're doing it. See from here, it sort of looks all right. Kind of gives us the illusion of... People will know what it is anyway. Um, so... And that will hardly even be seen. Remembering that's up the front there. It's just another little hidden thing that someone might go, oh, look at that. You know, they'll only sort of see it from, from that angle unless they stick their head right in there. And when you're, you know, distance, see, it's looking like what we want. So, not perfect, but okay. Um, we could have messed around and really tried to get our colours spot on and stuffed around, but... To me, that was good enough. I and mean, I'm not a gun at doing this. I'm just just started doing this sort of airbrushing stuff. So I am a novice. So now we're going to put our stickers on. And then I think we start throwing a little bit of clear down. Like I said, we're going to have to dust, especially over them. And we're going to have to dust over this. All oh, these are all base coats, but that chrome that's underneath, I think you'll find is enamel doesn't really say what it is but i'd say it would be an enamel most stuff in pressure cans enamel so like i said yes let's um put our stickers down go make some clear Seriously, how cool does that look? That's what we're making. That's what we've made. That's like looks wicked. There's our little end. We're not going to worry about airbrushing the back end. No one's ever going to see that. <laughs> how cool! How cool does that look, guys? Okay, that looks wicked. We made a little battery rocker cover. That's just, oh, I'm so chuffed with that. That's an awesome, awesome, awesome idea. And we actually pulled it off. So we're not finished yet. Now we've got to clear coat it in. So, oh, don't get too excited. We could have reactions with the vinyl yet. So we'll mix some clear coat up now and we'll just do a really light little dust coat over this. Okay, we'll let that tack off. Then we'll come in and do another real light little dust coat over this vinyl we'll do a couple of those little dust coats before we actually give it a couple of decent coats but so far so far you've got to you like drop your comments what do you think i'm stupid or what or does this look pretty cool so we've got a picture of that sitting in there <laughs> we'll finish today of course we've only got another well see how we go um of work probably only another 20 minutes but maybe in it, you know but that's going to go over a few hours because we've got to let it like i've said continually tack off just slowly 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 work this up okay so we'll get a, a tack cloth on it as well make sure we've got no dust yeah as you can see i've got a smile on my face because i actually think this is turned out so far awesome all right let's go mix some clear
What do you reckon? Drop your comments down right now and tell me what you reckon. So there is our battery. Obviously it's got a plus somewhere on it. There it is, the plus. Boom. And there is our rendition of it. Hey, what do you reckon? And we'll have a look at the front now. So there's the front of the battery. It actually turned out pretty good. From here, you can see it does look actually look a little bit three-dimensional. We've got the center shaded, it's got the chrome. It actually does kind of look pretty good, I think, guys. Pretty good. And over here is our oil cap, all shiny to match the rose, which will go on there. And then these will have our two of the rubber fittings. And I don't know if you've seen, but the paint itself... Look at that, that is like absolute glass off the gun. Now we ended up, so there's no peel at all in that. It's ended up looking magnificent. It looks, it looks really, really good. And we had a little bit of clear left because I just, we actually have to go out. It's had three or four, I don't know, I have to count how many coats it had. It had like four or something coats on it. And we still probably had another two coats, I'd say in the gun and I didn't want to just whack it on when it wasn't ready and, and have a, something go wrong. So I just threw one coat on this guard. Looking pretty nice, isn't it? So that's what it was looking like. Somehow we've got to get this to clean up a bit better. So it looks like that one over there. So any rate, I've got to go out, we'll let this dry. We'll see what it's like when I get home. If it's dry enough to get on there. If not, we'll do it first thing in the morning. And we'll stick it back on the motor. And we'll have a look at it. Hey, I actually really like it. I think we just turned our rat rod into a battery powered EV. How cool. So yeah, I reckon it's a bit of a cool concept. But I think our the thing I'm chuffed about is it was an idea in here. But our execution is the word I'm looking for of this is is phenomenal like we have actually executed this perfectly i believe like we've got i have seen someone do this before i think there might even be a few people last time i looked it up on the internet i could only find one done it was on a ford pinto so i don't know if that was in america or in england or someone had done it it's an idea i had in my head but then when i researched the battery actually someone had done it okay um, but no one, I haven't seen anyone do this on the end. And uh, so, like I said, it was an idea that I actually had of my own, but someone's already done it, which, you know, it's pretty hard to come up. Even if you come up with your own ideas, no, you've never seen it. You've just popped it into your head. Nine times out of ten, someone somewhere has done it. Like, to do something completely that no one's ever done is pretty damn hard even if you think it is when you really research someone else has done it so that that looks really 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 cool really cool anyway like i said i've got to go out we've got a road trip coming guys so stick out we've got a road trip we've got two we're buying two wicked pieces future builds we've got to go for a big 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 drive i don't know it's like a I don't even know, it's a two and a half thousand kilometre round trip, so it's a, whatever that works out to be, 1800 mile round trip or something, that we've got to go do to pick up these two possessions, I'm not going to show you what they are or anything to tell you, we're just going to get two things, and we've got to take the Merc and the car trailer, so before we leave we've got to do a little bit of maintenance. So that's why we've got to go out and get some tyres and stuff. Got to put some tyres on my car trailer. We're going to put a couple of tyres on that. Give it a quick service. Polish the headlights, etc. So we can touch wood, fingers crossed, all that. Have a reliable journey. So, like I said, that's why we've got to go out and pick up some tyres. 
then I'll come back. Hopefully we can fit that up today. If not, we'll do it in the morning and see what it looks like. Um, we are staying with this build. We will do a video of the road trip though. Uh, we'll do a little, because you're going to want to see what I get. Trust me, you're going to want to see what I get. They will be future builds. As we know, there's a build, one build after this one coming. We're about to start. And then one of these will be after that. And we're not sure about the other one. So, but they are going to be very important pieces of our puzzle <laughs> in here. So anyway, you're going to want to see what they are because they are pretty, pretty cool pieces. Okay. And like I said, we're going to continue building with, we're going to continue building on this. Okay. We're not dropping this or anything. This is what we are on, what we're working on, what we're pushing on. The main focus will be, as soon as we get back, we'll be working on this and we will probably start our other build our new build we will start we'll do the odd little bit we'll do the odd little one here and there on the oakland and the odd little one here and there on the chevy but predominantly this and we'll like i said we'll start the new build and we'll always throw a flip car in every now and then so with all that said i gotta get going so i'll see you guys in the morning This looks insane. What we're going to do first, though, is I'm going to show you a quick little skit because Mercedes has just done a similar concept, brought out a double A Mercedes. So, have a quick look at that and we'll compare it to this. Introducing the Mercedes double A class, the first fully electric luxury sedan powered entirely by double A batteries. Okay, we are back and well, hey, what do you reckon? How cool does that look? <laughs> Drop your opinions. I think it's turned out really, really good. Um, so from back here, looking at the car, you can see the Duracell. It actually looks really cool. Um, I really like it. The execution is the word, isn't it, that we've done on this has turned out an absolute treat. And there's our little airbrush bit at the front the paintwork is absolutely wicked now it's just not bolted on we don't have a new gasket so it's just sitting there temporarily till we get a gasket then we'll bolt it down but that looks really really good i think we've pulled that off really well like i said the paint is phenomenal on it so pretty happy with how that's turned out just in, like i said another little subtle thing and looking down here, you know, we'll have that car be looking a bit nicer, but it just looks cool. Now, it doesn't really go with the gold of our motor, but I think, I just think the concept is really good. And I think the end result, I actually think I like it. I actually like it. Okay, so um, just something different. Remembering, $2,000 build, $2,000 build, guys. You know, like, come on, it's pretty cool looking. Looking a little jigger. Um, so we're going to continue building with this car, like I've said. But for this week, that's all we're doing. So, hope you enjoyed that one. With all of that said, I'll say thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next week. Swagger down the street with your red lips and funky beat. You better hold your head up to the sky. I'm going to roll with you to the day. I die.